Bonjour, everybody! <laughs> I hope you all had a good week. I had a very busy week building that. And if you're wondering why this is in here and not up in my living room, well, it's because the last scene of my video yesterday was just totally fake. It was like a reality show. It was all staged. <laughs> so, because I just didn't have time to get all the lacquer on. And I want to put a lot of lacquer on this and give it a good finish because I'm sure feet are going to end up on it. Probably my feet mainly, <laughs> so I don't want to get scratched and I just didn't have time. This thing took me a lot longer to build than I was planning. I thought it would be a lot like my credenza, which actually was just kind of a big box, but the legs on it were kind of difficult, it took some time, and then just figuring out how to add the extra shelf, all the doors and everything. It just amounted to a lot of time. So I want to show you what I got this week. It was, it's this. This is a Galaxy Note 2. Two. It's really cool. It comes with this little stylus in here, which I haven't really used for anything. <laughs> that might be kind of gimmicky, but this is so awesome. And so what I've been doing is, I, because it's really simple for me to now just take pictures in the shop as I'm building projects. I think I'm going to do more of that and I can just post it directly to Facebook or uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get involved in, in some of the other stuff um, a little bit more now. Maybe I'll get back involved with <laughs> Twitter, I think. I don't know. I, I, I just... I haven't come to terms with Twitter. <laughs> I know a lot of people use it. There's a lot of people following me on there and I don't even do anything on Twitter. I just post my video every Friday, but maybe I'll start posting stuff on there more often. Because I, I follow some people and I check in on Twitter once in a while and mostly it's just celebrities talking about themselves. And you know, what do I really need to say? So maybe if I just post pictures of, of projects, something. I don't know. Let me go through some of the questions about the coffee table. Uh, first of all, there, a couple of people were asking me about the wood I used. It's a cherry plywood, three quarter inch cherry plywood. And no, you can't get that at regular box stores, Home Depot or Lowe's or anything. So you need to find a lumber yard near you, which will have a lot more wood and a lot better wood. And it's more expensive though. And the, But it's really cool because the, the veneer on the cherry Lumber is it's like paper thin on top of that, but it's still it's still really expensive. Uh, the edge molding here and then the legs are all made out of solid cherry. And all I did was I just bought three quarter inch standard boards. And then for the edge banding, I just cut those into half inch wide strips. So this is actually the edge of the board that you're looking at here. And then for the legs, I just took three boards and glued them up to make a square blank. I cut it all down to two inch square blanks and then turned it on the lathe. Um, but yeah, I didn't really make that clear. I think because probably I explained some of that in the credenza video. And I didn't want to really repeat what I had done in that video. I thought this was going to be real similar, but as it turned out, it, it had its own its own problems. But I also had to just keep cutting that video down. I shot too much stuff on it. I had some really funny bits in yesterday's video. I had a whole bit about Norm in there, but I, I cut it out. Well, there's just a little fragment of it left over, but <laughs> it was something about wanting to have Norm over for Eggs Benedict. But anyways, as it was, I think the video was just way too long. It's, that's what happens when I come down to the wire. I don't really have time to edit a video. If I have a enough time to edit a video then it's easy to let it sit and then come back the next day or even a few hours later and then watch it again and I think well you know this part really isn't necessary I can cut that out I just love cutting stuff out of videos it's very satisfying and so just try to get to the core the essence of what I'm trying to say rather than rambling on and on and on like I do in <laughs> mere minutes. One thing I wanted to clear up that I, a lot of people were unclear on is the spelling of rabbit is R-A-B-B-E-T. That's the woodworking joint, the edge groove. Whereas rabbit, R-A-B-B-I-T, that's the tasty dinner. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. I've never actually eaten rabbit. <laughs> I'm sure it's tasty. We used to, we used to have a rabbit. This is, uh, oh gosh, maybe eight or nine years ago. And it was right after Easter and some people where it was on Easter or the day after, I don't remember. My memory, it's the second thing to go, you know. <laughs> um, see, I, f I forgot. Oh, anyways, a, a car was driving down the street and uh, the van, and then they just stopped in the street. And then it was like one of these white vans that you see, you know, like surveillance vans, like, you know, we're, we're keeping an eye on, on Cali Arboleda. But the van, it comes out and they, and they drop off this little baby rabbit on the road and then go zooming off. So I, near as I can tell, it was a, uh, 
an Easter present for somebody and they didn't really want for the rabbit. So they just left it on the side of the road. So we went out there and we, we corralled him. It was kind of hard to catch him and we kept him as a pet. And we named it, Brown, uh, Wyatt named him Brownie. He was a little bitty rabbit and he was really cute. And I kept him over in the side yard. I made him a hutch, but I also, we had the whole side yard open. So I thought, well, I'll just put a fence in there, a little gate. And then he can go up into his hutch whenever he wants, or he can just run around out, out there. And, and he really loved it. And he would bask in the sun. And he was a really cute rabbit. And sometimes he was a little bit wild, though. But we had him for many years. And then one day he was gone. All that was left was little tufts of bloody fur. <laughs> so I think we've got some, like, turkey vultures and hawks and things around here. So I think he, he got snatched. <laughs> well, that turned out to be a horrible story, and that's the difference between a rabbit with an E and a rabbit with an I. <laughs> oh, then of course there's Dado. And that is spelled D-A-D-O. I noticed some people were saying Dato, D-A-T-O, and it, it sounds like that when I when I say it quickly. I guess Dado, D-A-D-O, a D as in doorknob, D-A-T-O. I don't think that's anything, at least not in English. Not that I'm aware. Of. <laughs> I don't know. Could be like Lieutenant Commander Dato of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> no. I know it's Data. Don't get after me, Brent Spiner. <laughs> oh, here's something I wanted to say about Datos that I, I left out of the video. Another thing that I cut out for time reasons was the, the uh, distinction between a Dato and a Groove. They're actually, they look the same, but a Dato technically goes against the grain, whereas a groove is what you call that same cut going with the grain. So there, you can impress your fellow woodworkers, or or do like I do and call a groove a dado and it annoy them. <laughs> well, I guess that's about all I have this week. Nothing too exciting, nothing earth shattering. I, uh, it's a beautiful day out. I hope it's warming up wherever you might be. And Oh, I know what I, I was going to tell you. We got, did I tell you we got goldfish for the pond? I don't know if I told you that part. That was like last week. We went and bought, we buy these little feeder goldfish. They're like 15 cents a piece. But goldfish are cool because they, they live like a thousand years easily. And I've got one in there that just, they just keep growing. They'll just grow so big that eventually they'll just burst out, <laughs> out of the pond. Anyways, we got like 15 of these little feeder fish from the pet store, and they all died except for two. I don't know what happened. It was like a bad batch or something, I guess. I think that some of them aren't really that healthy because they're in those huge tanks at the pet store. And they're, I mean, they sell them as food for other animals, fish, I guess. I don't know what they sell them for, for to feed. But there's so many of them in there, and I don't think that's a very healthy environment. So we were trying to rescue them anyways, 15 of them, they all died. And then the, the ones when they would die, they'd get weak and they go, and they get sucked up into the, into the pump. This is a very depressing video today. It's all about death. I'm all emo today. So, I don't know, I guess I better end it there. I'll talk to you later.